It's Friday, June 3rd, and I'll go over five things that I think are of interest to people in public sector in general and public procurement specifically. And how is it June 3rd already? That's a question to ponder. So first, next week, two impactful entities in public sector are both doing conferences GFOA, which is the Government Financial Officers Association, and NAEP, which is the National Association of Education Procurement, are both doing their first annual events in a while in person. So we're going to field two teams. One's going to be in Grapevine and one's going to be in Austin. And I'm going to be at both through the magic of I-35. There will be two speaking events. One is around Transforming in Turbulent Times, where I'll be talking with Jana Thompson about the transformation initiative that she launched before COVID and then carried through COVID and its lessons for today when she was the procurement director for University of North Dakota. And then I'll be doing a presentation on riding the e-procurement wave. I was doing that as a panel, but I'll be handling most of that presentation, probably with a GFOA facilitator. Secondly, uh, Rob Hanfield, who is the Bank of America University Distinguished Professor of Supply Chain Management at NC State University, somebody that I've had a chance to do content with a couple of times, has a new article on continued challenges of many CPOs and chief uh, supply chain officers, around dealing with creating improved supply chain and a new report that found that now this was both public and private sector, I'm sure, but Rob is uh, definitely somebody to listen to for supply chain uh, that found that 78% of purchasing executives use supply chain resilience as top priority compared to 67% who still focused on achieving lowest cost. So Rob is always a, innovative thinker, and I will definitely be reading this full article. Third, Raj Sharma, who I've also done content with, had a new article out about some of the work they've been doing related to a project for the U.S. Army that was looking at some, using some AI for analysis related to terminologies that buyers and suppliers used when they're describing themselves and their services and found that only 17% overlap which to their research study said that 83% of the time people were talking past each other. It's an interesting article, good take on things, and of course, a super cool graphic that is worth your eyeballs. Fourth, NAS Bo, which is the budget officers, continues to do their ongoing meticulous work of combing through all the states and trying to pull out tidbits related to budget and process. So they had a new thing saying that with a month left in the new fiscal year, 32 states have enacted budgets for FY23 and then has links to all of the enacted budgets. Speaking of new fiscal year starting, I'll take a quick moment and point out that we will be having a clubhouse discussion about flipping the fiscal year or financial year, depending on how which F you want to use um, in style. And that will be a clubhouse event. So look for more information on that on the 16th. And finally, I almost never take, and finally, I was really excited to welcome three new people to Civic who are all procurement professionals, public procurement professionals, uh, more specifically, the variety of backgrounds. So Barry Goldman from Arkansas, Ashish Patel from Texas, and uh, Simul Abdul also from Texas. One comes from more of an agency background, another from Uh, K-12 and local background and another from a higher education background. So I am really proud and humbled to have that many folks on and it's exciting times and there's lots of work happening. And so we are definitely proud to get them into the mix as quickly as possible. So with that, I will let you know that next week we'll be recording both of those audio sessions that I described at the first. So that'll supplant some of the five for Friday to at least give some kind of audio content every week. And I'm excited to have that and look forward to processing some of that and figuring out a release cycle on that for you guys. So with that, have a great weekend. Hi, it's Dustin Lanier. Thanks for listening. Please find me on LinkedIn for original public sector operations content every week. 
And please reach out to me if I and my team of procurement professionals at Civic Initiatives can help you be a public procurement change agent.